Hello and welcome to part two on the new Panasonic Lumix FZ2000, FZ2500, FZH1 and this is part two of the movies, doing the videos, going through all the settings. I'm going to do the lot. That's, it's really good is this because you can have, oh, two, four and six and eight second movies and then join them all up later. It's, it's a simple matter to join them up. It works in IA mode, IA plus, PASM, movie mode, scene and arty. And you can tell it how long you want it to record for. I will also put this page up because there's different settings for MP4, NTSC, PAL, because we in the UK use PAL, but not everybody in the world does. So, right, if we go to menu, there it is, and then we go to motion picture, there, motion picture, and then what we're looking for is down here, snap movie, <laughs> we'll move across to the right and go up one to snap movie. Now you can see it says on, off and set, I've got it set off, but I'll go to that set and press the menu button again. Now, you can see it says recorded time seconds. And there you are. Eight, six, four and two seconds. Can't be bad. You can have pull focus or fade on or out. So you can fade in, fade out. It looks very professional, but you don't have to be professional to use it. I'll put some of the manual pages up so you can read about this. This, as you can see, is the page out the manual covering recording snap movies. And it shows you there. Go to menu, motion picture, snap movie and switch on. And you can press the shutter button halfway just to exit the menu. It's a quick way out of the menu. And start recording by pressing the motion picture button. To activate or deactivate the snap movie, select off. Remember, that means off in the menu. You can either select it on or off. Now you can see here, changing the snap movie settings. Just stop it if you want to see more or read about it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And they're setting up the pull focus. Tells you what to do, what it does. I know I get boring, but don't forget you can stop your video and read this, study it and get your camera out while you do it. Now we're moving on to the recording motion pictures using various effects and advanced settings called creative video mode. And I shall put more pages up as we go along out the manual so you can read it and try it and work with it and so on. Now your recording mode is movie mode. What's that one there? It says M and a little camera, cine camera at the side of it. It's possible to switch to slow or quick motion during your picture recording. And you've also got dolly zoom in there, which allows you to record images that only change the angle of view in the background while keeping the size of the subject, the person, constant. And those images are played back with a quick motion effect of by two. You've got 4K live cropping you can do while you're in there, exposure mode. You can manually change the exposure and the shutter speed when you're recording motion pictures. And you've got a variable frame, frame rate, which means you can slow motion or quick motion pictures by changing the frame rate. You need to go in there and play with it, which is why I'll put the page up. And you get different effects and different areas where you can and cannot use it and get different results altogether. Like in the recording format, AVCHD, you've got a load of different uh, frequencies available to you for NTSC and PAL. You might want to try shooting an NTSC. You won't have an NTSC television in the UK, but you can go and try and look at it on your monitor and so on. An MP4, an MP4 LPC movie mode, all different. I'm going to put the page in. And here is that page. 
so you can actually read it and have a look through it, slow it down, speed it up, do what you want, but at least it will let you play with these settings easier than I could ever describe how to do it. Changing the frame rate while you're recording, slow and quick. I've already told you, set that to the M, the movie mode or motion picture mode, and then switch on that red button up there. Yeah. And that takes you into exposure mode. So you can change the exposure while you're still videoing. Can't be bad. <laughs> Right, we go into the menu, little red camera that side, you can see a light up and go up one they are motion picture. Use this arrow or your rear dial to bring across to this side. And you're looking for, well, <laughs> your recording format, you're looking for motion picture recording quality. Yeah. And that's there. And I'm going to show you this, <laughs> but you'll see it for yourself. You've got to go through it again, looking at the manual pages I'll put on. I mean, there's a stack of them. Yeah, your 4K are up the top end there, you can see. And then you, you go into come out of there sorry you go back into the menu motion picture and then you're looking for slow quick now as you can see slow quick is grayed out which means you must be in one of the settings that won't allow you to do it so you just change your settings and you go to slow quick and click on and then these buttons on this side FN1 and FN2 become slow and quick zooms. So you can have a slow run out or a slow run in or a quick one. It's, it really is quite simple, but you need to read it and see what it's saying. Here you go, changing the frame rate while you're already recording. You can slow it down as I always say, or stop it and just read over it and see what you can't use it in. I had 4K set on my camera and variable rate, so there's some things it won't be able to cope with. <laughs> but it saves you getting mixed up, and there it shows you about the dolly zoom, which will be the next one up. Reasonably simple to do. I've got a dolly, so I don't bother with it. You may need it. Now, recording motion pictures in which only the angle of view changes. Yeah, the background changes continuously. Dolly zoom. So you, you again, you go into the motion picture and then you go for recording format. There. Now, go into that and what you're looking for is <laughs> recording quality and you want one that supports the variable frame rate okay so we'll go and have a look through you're looking for variable frame rate down there not always easy to find but if you stick at it you'll get there There, VFR is available, variable frame rate, and that's what you're looking for. And it says down there, variable frame rate on. Now again, if dolly zoom isn't lit up, you can't use it, you have to go into an area or a motion picture that lets you allow dolly zoom there's several just go and have a play it's not something I use I've actually got a dolly so there you go but that mainly covers the the all these little 
dolly zoom movements and zoom movements and all the rest. I've found the best zoom I've got is my legs. But that's not everybody's cup of tea. And then we'll go on. The next part will cover recording motion pictures that pan and zoom while maintaining a fixed camera position. It's called 4K life cropping and so on. So stick with it. We'll get through it all eventually. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, don't. <laughs> and if you subscribe to me, you'll know when each movie comes out covering different factors. Thank you very much. Bye.